gonna show you guys how you can set up a NAS drive with your Raspberry Pi. So if you don't know what a NAS drive is, it is a network attached storage device. And with this, you'll be able to put all of your files on your hard drive running on your Raspberry Pi, and then you'll be able to access this from any computer. So if it's a MacBook, if it's a Windows computer, Linux, you'll be able to access it with no problem. So we're going to be using Raspberry Pi OS to set this up. And so to set this up first, you're going to need the Raspberry Pi Imager, which you can just download for Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. Or if you you already have it installed on your Raspberry Pi, you could just install Raspberry Pi Imager by doing this. And so what I'm going to be doing right here, this is a 500 gigabyte hard drive that I'm going to be using for this. And because the Raspberry Pi now supports USB boot, I'm just going to install the system and store all of my files on the same hard drive. But if you wanted to, you could install a system on an SD card and then store your files on a hard drive and just use it as like an external storage. But I'm going to, to make it easier, just use it all on the same hard drive. So you can use however size you want, but I would recommend a big size if you're going to be keeping big files on here. So first, after you install the Raspberry Pi Imager, just click on it to open it up. And we're going to choose OS, and we're going to want the Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. And you're just going to choose your SD card. In my case, it's a hard drive. So I'm just going to hit that, click right, and it's going to ask me for a password. And just type in your password, hit OK. And as you see, it should start flashing. And now you just have to wait for it to finish. So it says it has successfully been written to the hard drive. So now I can just go continue and I can take the thing off of my computer and plug it in to the Pi and boot it up. Okay, so now I'm booted up my Raspberry Pi and I have the Raspberry Pi OS desktop installed. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to click next and I'm just going to set this up however I want it. Whatever country, whatever language you want, you can just go ahead and set that all up right now. And for a better speed, I would definitely recommend using Ethernet. You could use Wi-Fi, but you're copying over and accessing it from other computers. It's definitely going to be slower than Ethernet. So I would definitely recommend doing that. You can change the password if you like. You can just set up all these things. And yeah. So I'm in the desktop now. And now we have to get all the commands and everything, all the software needed installed. And then we'll have our network over attached storage ready to go okay so to install the software we're going to be using which is called samba we're going to um, need to type in some commands to the terminal so first of all just go ahead and open up a terminal and then what you're going to type is it will be in the description too so you can just copy it over you're just going to have to install samba common bin so you're just going to paste that in the terminal hit enter and I made this little text document because there's a lot of commands. So you're going to hit Y, hit Enter, and it's going to get all the files needed and install Samba for us. And right here, I go to Yes and click Yes. Hit Enter on Yes. And it's unpacking all everything now. And we should have installed in a minute. Okay, so it's done installing now. So now we have to make a folder in our system that is going to be the folder where you put all of your files that you want on the NAS drive. So I'm calling it NAS, but you could change that for anything. So this command just made a folder for us in our home directory. So if I click this, right here we have NAS. So that's going to be where we're going to put all of our files for our NAS drive. And then you're going to have to go into this Samba directory right here this file and you're gonna have to edit it so it's gonna open up that with the nano editor and you're gonna have to go all the way to the bottom we're gonna add some lines to the bottom of this so it knows what to do so just scroll all the way down to the bottom right here so you get to the bottom and you're gonna put this commands so I'm calling mine pi so that's why I have the little pi at the top but you could always change that and then the path is where our, we said our folder was, and then these are just some other commands that are needed. 
So after doing that, what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to hit Control X, then hit Y and Enter. So now this saved it. So if you want to make sure, just hit the up arrow, up arrow, and hit see that command again. You can go all the way to the bottom once more and make sure that it actually did save it. So it will work successfully. Right here. As you see, it's saved. So I'm good now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit Control X, and it's just going to go right out. It only asks for Y if you add something to it. So now we have to make a password for our NAS drive and a username. So I'm going to be calling mine Pi and Raspberry because that's just the default thing of Raspberry Pi OS. But if, of course, to be more secure, I would recommend you guys changing that to a private thing. So where it says Pi, you could change that to a different username of your own. So I'm just going to hit enter and it's going to say new Samba password. And you're just going to type whatever, but I'm going to go Raspberry. Hit enter. Type it in again, and it says added user pi. So that's good. So now we have to restart the Samba service so it will get all of our new usernames and passwords and stuff in its synced. So that command restarted Samba. So now to be able to connect this from a computer, we have to know the IP address. So you're going to type this command hostname i. You're going to paste that, and that will show your system's IP address. So you hit enter. This is my system's IP address right now, 192.168.0.31. So I'm going to keep that in mind, and I'm going to go over to my computer and show you guys how you can connect to it from a different place. But before doing that, I'm going to add some files to my folder so you guys can see how it works. Okay, so I just went on the internet and I downloaded a few pictures of a Raspberry Pi 4. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my home folder right here. And I'm going to go over to NAS, the folder we created earlier. And I'm just going to go ahead, copy over these pictures. I know they're not big pictures, but big files. But you could always add big files to store it on your big drive. So it's in the folder right now. That's good. So now I'm going to go over right now and I'm going to show you how you connect to this over Mac OS. Then I'll also be showing Windows and Linux so you'll know how to do this from all. So I'm on my MacBook right now and to connect to the NAS drive from here, what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to click on Finder, open it up. You don't need to, this doesn't really matter. And you're going to go over to Go on the bar up here. Go down to connects to server and you're going to type this smb dot two dots um dash dash one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot thirty one um dash pi i name on pi that's why it's like that but you guys might have named it something different but it doesn't matter so you're going to go connect and it is going to ask you for the password and the username and you're just going to type that in i already connected to it once so why it didn't ask me but i'm in my raspberry pi's folder right now as you remember i added these pictures on my raspberry pi so i can also launch it this is like one of the pictures that i downloaded and added to the nas drive and then if, if i wanted to access this from my computer all the time i could just copy this over to my desktop and it would be there i mean how great is that so you could store big files on there and then access them from any computer so this was how to do it on Mac OS. Now let's show how you can do it on Windows. Okay, so I'm over on my Windows PC right now and I'm gonna show you how you can access your NAS drive. So to do this, you need to hit the Windows key plus R and it's gonna open up Run. So what you're gonna type, you're gonna type this command. It will also be in the description and we're my IP address is right here. Change that with your current IP address of your Raspberry Pis, and then whatever username you had put there. And then you're going to hit OK, and it's going to ask you for your credentials. So mine that I made was Pi, and then Raspberry. And if you want it to remember, you can hit that tick. Hit OK, and it's going to try to access it right now. Look at that. It did access it. So here are the pictures. I try to click on it. And here is the Raspberry Pi 4 picture that I had got on my MacBook and Raspberry Pi 2. So you can successfully do it like that. So now let's go over to Windows and see how we can do it. I mean, let's go over to Linux and see how we can do it on there.
Okay, so I'm over on Manjaro Linux right now. I'm using this one, but of course you could use any other Linux distro, and it should be the same. So this is Manjaro Linux KDE. So my default file manager is Dolphin. So I'm just going to open up Dolphin, and I'm going to go over to right here where it says Remote Network. And you're going to go to Shared Folders, SMB. Click on that, and it's scanning your network right now for a NAS drive. Here it is, Raspberry Pi. Click on that. Click Pi. And you're going to have to type in your password. So the username I made was Pi, and the password was Raspberry. And you can just remember it if you want. I'm going to hit OK. Look at that. It logs straight in. Here are pictures. I can click on that picture. And the same picture that I had opened on all operating systems. And it successfully works. So how cool is that? So you successfully know how to do that on all three operating systems right now. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. I hope that you can successfully get everything all set up and have your NAS drive ready. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.